first guest. This is Mary Lou Bobson, and she's coming in from what I call the South. Hello, Mary Lou, it's very nice to meet you. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from Louisiana. And that that's the South? Oh, definitely. Okay. So Mary Lou, what do you got ready for us today? Well, I don't have anything ready. Um, this is eggplant parmesan, a little Southern classic. Um, this is something my family's been making for a while. So what are we gonna need to put all this together? Well, it looks like you have most of the uh, ingredients here. First, you would make the dough, which we have the flour, the eggs. Um, then you got some lemon, some lime. Yeah. Uh, that's mostly for a garnish, though. Then you have your jar sauce. You don't hey, have to make it what, homemade. What did you say we were making? Oh, eggplant parmesan. Okay, mm -hmm. and what's the purpose of the dough? What, what do we need dough for? Well, we're making eggplant parmesan. Okay, and, and why, would you, why are you making dough? Well, that's the way my family's always done it, and that's the way I've been taught how to make it. That's great. Did anybody check her credentials before she came on to see, to make sure everything's legit? I don't mean any offense by this, but did anybody check to, to make sure she knows what's going on? I mean, this is a very basic mistake that's going on in the show. I sharpened them last week. I believe we were making a cheese sandwich type of meal. I don't remember, but they should be fairly sharp. Um, so a lot of Southerners come from a privileged background, um, and, and I'm sure you understand that. And uh, well, a little bit of okay. After you get done uh, sawing the eggplant, if you don't sharpen your knives, um, you would just layer it in the bottom of the dish. If you yeah. want to get started layering it, yeah. I can. And as I told you, I, I'm also, if you haven't noticed, I'm a chef in some form. I, I have a uniform. Okay. On. You have a shirt on today, and that's great that you have a shirt on, but. My well, it's about your resume, not your clothes. Yes, and if you'd review that, you'd see three major classes taken at the community center on cooking itself. <clears throat> and again, I've already asked my producers to look into. I'm just gonna make this dish. Eventually. How does that sound? I'm just gonna make the dish. This is me doing the eggs. Check, check yeah. that. So, um, yeah, this you would make. This is the dough, flour. Okay, um, here. Do you, Think you can open that for me? I think I can. It, okay. Still, it, I think what you're referencing is store bought might be harder to open. This is tightly sealed as homemade. Oh, excellent. But, you know, let's not forget that. Did you just pour <coughs> this on? Yes. All right. Okay, that's great. Yeah, it, it's not complicated. You sprinkle the cheese on there. Yes. Again, plain and simple. She made it a point. Yeah. Plain and simple. To, do not complicate this, this this region, this type of people. Go on. I'm yep. Sorry. And that's how you work the dish. You're just gonna layer it up yes. at the top. Normally you would have a pan, um, but a bowl a, works a, fine. If I'm an amateur, if I may give an amateur observation, this seems to be a bastardization or, or whatever word you use of an Italian dish that I call eggplant parmigiano. You seem to have taken that and just included a big bowl and a, a dough will be included at some point. But what are your thoughts on that? Just. A girl's got to make it work sometimes. Um, so you put this in the oven. Uh, where's the oven? Well, you know, I didn't know that we would be confronted with this, what the show is about. And, and you know, somebody needs to tell me these things before we get to this point. You don't uh, have the an actual oven? cooking. There's an oven. The oven is not a problem. What Where I'm am trying I supposed to, say to cook this? Um, if we need to cook, do we need to cook this today? Yeah. Well, if we need to cook it today, we do have a microwave. You're not proposing that oven. I stick my dish in your microwave. Well, I know that okay. shipment of these have not right. made their way to Kentucky and other states. You can make this in the microwave in a bowl. It's new technology. Um, I normally don't know what time you put that on, but let's start with what five five minutes, Joe. Yes. Okay. All right. That was the greatest part of the show when everyone gets to get a little taste of the food that we're. Uh, take took part in making. Um, I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't have a fork. I'm gonna let the chef that created the dish try this out and explain to you what that might taste like. Uh, I just don't have an opportunity to do that. Um, Go for it. If you'd like to. No, I'm I'm good. Go for it. <clears throat> okay, and you know, I, I'll do I'll do this. You know, and what that makes me feel like right now is. Not so much taste sensation, but I feel like I just fell down when you're playing in a pile of leaves with your friends. The same kind of 
freedom of, of uh, movement, I guess. I just, um, well, that's, yeah. That's, it's good, yeah. right? Yeah. It's that's something, job. yeah. And uh, thanks, everyone, again, for watching the show. Um, as we say in all our shows, we hope that everyone out there understands that cable is not everything. And when you have shows like this coming to you, you realize, con contribute to your TV stations out there. Otherwise, you would have never seen this masterpiece put together. Um, representing the South, representing all of mankind today, I'm Dino, Chef Dino. You're cooking with Dino, and along with our guest host, introduce yourself one last time if you could. Mary Lou? It's probably your last show. Uh, thank you very much, and we hope to see all you again. <laughs>